Hi there, this week's question is, what happens when you remove the CMOS battery? My name's Dave, this is QA Weekly, this is a question from my YouTube channel, and we can actually set this up to mean one of two things. What happens if it is removed, or what happens if it dies? And you can go a little step further and be like, what happens if you hit the CMOS flash batter, uh, button on the back of your mainboard? What's gonna happen is a series of unfortunate events. All of your boot order settings are gonna disappear. Any overclock that you have are gonna disappear. All your RAM timing is gonna disappear. Your PK keys required for secure boot are gonna disappear. Any encryption keys that are inside of there are gonna disappear. And if you have any more settings that you programmed into it, they're gonna disappear. Upon this happening, when you boot your computer, the time and date will have already been reset to the default, meaning that you will have a clock error. And of course, even if you fix that, when you come to load into your computer, if the boot order of the computer by default doesn't match the first drive, basically, that you're expecting it to boot from, it will say there's no operating system. Basically, all hell will break loose, all the blood is going to drain out of you, and you are going to have a panic attack. However, there are a few things you can do to avoid all of these problems. One, don't remove the CMOS battery, but I want you to remember that that CMOS battery can die, and if you have a BIOS flashback or CMOS reset button on there and you have pets, things happen. So the other thing you want is to go into your BIOS and back up your BIOS configuration, your PK keys and any encryption keys, as well as any RAID information that you have in your computer. Saving all of this will save you a lot of hassle and make sure you have multiple copies of this so that if even a USB key dies, disappears, get eaten by a dog, you are fine. You'll be able to restore your computer. Having all those restoration uh, information will help. If your computer is getting old, you might want to change the battery. But like I said, if you remove it, you lose all your settings. Having the backup will help restore it, but here's a little bonus trick. The computer only needs that CMOS battery when it's not plugged in or doesn't have power. So what you can do if you're super exceptionally careful like I am, is while it is plugged in but not powered, this is important. You can remove the battery. Be careful not to hit anything else in the chassis. You have to catch the battery and then put a fresh one in. And hopefully, provided that manufacturers have not changed the way that thing is powered, you'll have all of those settings maintained in your computer. And that's the only time I would remove the CMOS battery and that is because you're less likely to lose all of those configuration information and I would only do that after having made a backup of everything just in case because if you're not plugged into an uninterruptible power supply and you get a blackout you will lose all the information all the same so first thing you do backup all of your bio settings your PK keys as well as your encryption keys and this is especially important for anybody who's running Windows 8, Windows 10, or Windows 11, especially Windows 11. In the case of 8.1 and Windows 10, you could have just turned off Secure Boot and booted into your computer without any problem whatsoever. But since Windows 11 requires drive encryption and Secure Boot, if you don't have that information, you are out of luck. And hopefully you had a backup for all of your files because you will not be getting any access to those anytime soon. So like this episode if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, share with those that you think can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqwayweekend.com or go to my website, tqwayweekend.com, you can see the show notes on this episode, past others, find other ways of subscribing and use a contact form to email me directly. And if you want to see me play video games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, head over to twitch.tv slash zx1901, where I stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern. Thank you for watching and goodbye.